give any update on Kadarius? Um, I know you said sat Saturday was an injury. Just curious what might be going on there and any best guess timeline? No, I'm not going to say the timeline. Again, we're going to check with the trainers. We'll be out there doing some things today and working around. We'll see where he progresses and see what his workload in Cleveland look like this week. Well, we shouldn't expect him to really practice that. Is he doing some things? Yeah, I didn't say that at all. We'll, on the side. No, we'll see how he's doing in practice and see if we can ramp him up further along, like a lot of our guys should. Still hopeful for this week, Joe. That's what he's doing. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Sorry. Are you still hopeful he'll practice this week, like you said the other night? Yeah, I mean, today will tell us a lot about it with him and a lot of the other guys. There's guys coming out of the game that are dinged up a little bit. There's guys coming out of last week's practice. We've got to see where they're at physically. Guys coming off of injuries. So today we'll kind of take today to really kind of move these guys through, a lot of them through individual and group, see if they're ready to do more team periods. We'll see from today how they can handle or expect them to do later this week in Cleveland. But it's, still, it's just injury related. Yes. Yeah, yeah, look, there's, there's nothing too much to read in this. This guy's working hard. He's doing what we ask him to do. Um, look, he obviously had to come off the COVID deal. That kind of made his timeline a little bit different. A lot of guys going through camp, uh, no different than everybody else. There's bumps, there's bruises, there's things you have to deal with. We made the determination last week that he wasn't in a position to play in the game, and that's the decision we made for the team. The guy we haven't asked you about in a while is uh, Aaron Robinson. Is he, is he any closer to being ramped up and getting back to practice at all? Yeah, I mean, in terms of what he's dealing with right now, I mean, he's, he's working hard every day. Uh, the trainers feel he's moving at the right progression right now for what he's at. And as soon as we can get him out there and work with him, we'll definitely look forward to it. Coach, what did you see of Brian, you know, the quarterback you signed uh, yesterday? You know, we had him out here a few weeks ago for a workout with some other guys. Thought he threw the ball well. Uh, he's a guy we knew about coming out of college last year. We evaluated. Uh, he was someone that when he came to work out, it was a position we weren't looking to add a fourth. Uh, but we knew if there was going to be an opportunity at some point to add, and add him, that we'd like to work with him for the time. And this time at camp, it's good to get guys in here and see what they look like and make a determination going through the season. Coach, you obviously have a connection to uh, Keon Crossan. Um, what, what does he bring to you, to, uh, to the team? Well, I think you know, it's, it's not unique to just Keon. It's a small league. You know, whether it's a guy you've coached before or coached against, maybe a guy you worked out coming out of college, there's always some kind of connection to just about every player in this league. You know, in terms of Keon, I had the opportunity to coach him his rookie year. Um, he's a guy that obviously we used a lot you know, on special teams. He had defensive roles as well. He's a guy that brings an element of speed and athleticism. Uh, we're going to get involved with our defensive backs and our kicking units and, and see how far he can push himself. Did your experience with him help in any discussions you might have had with Dave? And just on a on a broader scale, Dave was saying you guys share kind of the same vision of football. Um, have you kind of has that been in evidence in how things go transaction-wise and personnel-wise? Yeah, I think me and Dave do a really good job of talking through you know our needs on the team, what we're looking to do, understanding you know the vision of what this team's going to be, and how we have to get it there, and what we have to work you know on the field and then personnel-wise to get the people that fit the system in here. Uh, it's ultimately our job to find guys who can you know, have versatility so as coaches we can put them in a position of strength and change that by game. You know, In terms of my prior relationship with Keon as far as uh, helping with the transaction and bringing them in, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Anytime you know somebody, as I said earlier, you know, there's always some kind of relationship with players in this league. So you draw on your past experience with those players and make the best decision for what you're doing going forward. Are you saying anything to do with Saquon? Do you still plan, think he's a ways away from live stuff? Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep progressing this week, do a few more things. Uh, you'll see him out here today doing a little more than he did last week. At this point, until the doctor's going to be green light, I'm not going to throw him any kind of live contact rolls or anything of that nature, so we're going to be careful as we go through it. Um, but we just got to keep on pushing his body when the doctors say he can go further. We'll keep pushing him further and further. So the joint practices, he's not going to do much there. Yeah, at this, I wouldn't plan on putting him on 11 on 11 at this point. We'll see if there's something else we can slide him into drill-wise. Have the doctors said at all that if he keeps progressing at this point, he should be ready? I'm not going to go into individual medical conversations right now. I'm happy with the way he's working, the progress he's making. So you made it sound like you guys were going to add an offensive lineman. Obviously, haven't yet. Do you plan to have someone before you get to Cleveland, or where, where do things stand with adding someone there? We'll see. I mean, we're always talking the entire roster. Obviously, we talked through the last couple of days of moves we had to make to get down to 85 by league rules. Um, these are in-depth conversations. We want to make sure we evaluate, you know, everyone on our roster as well as who else is being released throughout the league, who's available, you know, different needs we may have or different people that we think may upgrade us or come and be competitive for the roster. So we've spent the last couple of days looking through it. Um, we're always looking at personnel at all times. That's our job to know who's available based on what we need and what the team needs for competition. You know, in terms of will we bring somebody in, I wouldn't rule that out. I'm not saying that's an absolute that we have to do it, but we'll see where the personnel on the street is available, and we'll see where we are as a team after tonight. Do you have a question? Is uh, any conditioning COVID-related at all? 
Uh, he definitely was behind his conditioning coming off. You got to remember when he came up here and he had the quarantine period where he had to stay, you know, inactive by himself. And that obviously set you back for a good bit. I mean, that's something we've seen with all of our players coming off of COVID. And we've had different guys in different stages. Some guys have tried to work out while they've been away and found out a tough way they can't. Some guys have been able to go ahead and they've been asymptomatic and they've came back with an easier transition coming back. Um, it's definitely unique to every person and we don't want to have just a blanket template for anybody. We've got to really make sure we treat the person and not just, you know, the issue. So I would say, you know, all of our guys who came back off COVID, you know, were behind in conditioning. He missed a good bit of time. That's something to set him back, but he's working hard to get caught up right now. I'm very pleased in how he's working in meetings. I'm pleased in the progress he's making. Um, I'm pleased on the way, you know, he's fitting in with the team and his personality's coming out. I and mean, that's something for rookies that naturally happens this time of year after extended, you know, just time with vets. Uh, that's all been very positive. And when we get him on the field and go full speed, you know, we will do that. But right now we're going to make sure we take our time. And based on past experience with different players here or elsewhere, we're going to make sure we don't just get impatient and rush a guy out there before his body's ready to go. Joe, when you're setting more, up the, more. the joint practices, how important is it for you and Stefanski and even your staffs, and then obviously next week with Bill, to just to kind of set up the situation the way you want it, to have the control of what you're going to see out there and the trust factor that you guys are kind of both working together rather than against each other? Well, to me, the trust factor is huge, which is part of the reason, you know, early on with me and Kevin talked way back in the offseason about the possibility of doing this. You know, part of it's because of our relationship and our experience together. And, uh, you know, that helps because then you can work together. When you go to these practices, you want to be with someone you have a relationship with because then you can work together and make sure, hey, what do you need to see? What do we need to see? Well, let's work together, make sure we all accomplish that. You know, we've talked continuously throughout these last few weeks, make sure practice is mapped out. You know, for both me and him, we'll wait and see our teams come out of practice today and touch base before we finalize any plans going forward. But, you know, whether it's Kevin or Bill or other places I've been with, other guys who worked, it's, it's very important in these practices to have a relationship. And the players have to understand going in, it's going to be competitive. That's the nature of football, right? It's another team, it's going to be competitive. But just like out here, we don't want to get out there and make it something that's not football want to get out there and work against each other and keep between the lines, keep between the whistles, make sure we play hard, we protect ourselves in every play, but we're also working with the other team as well. Joe, much more last one. Uh, John Maris said we're all on the hot seat in regards to producing this year and resulting in actual wins. It's year two of your you know, time here. I'm wondering how much do you feel the pressure to actually have it produce in victories this year and compete for the playoffs, as he said? Right now, Jordan, all I'm focused on is practice today and getting our guys a little bit better. We got to have a better day today. We got to go to Cleveland, have good days on Thursday and Friday, and keep improving this team. All that other stuff doesn't matter if you don't take care of what's in front of us right now. That's my focus.